Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the new Sol de Janeiro After Hours Perfume Mist. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started. Sol de Janeiro recently released a new perfume mist for fall called After Hours. They've released new scents for summer before, but this is the first one that they've made for fall, and it is limited edition. I've already made a video on the entire Sol de Janeiro mist line, as well as for the summer collections, and I'll link those in the description box if you'd like to see reviews on any of the other scents. In this video, I'll review the new After Hours perfume mist, as well as compare it to other body mists and perfumes. The mist only comes in one size, which is just over 3 ounces for $24 US, and it's currently still available at Sephora. After Hours comes in the standard Sol de Janeiro mist packaging, only this time it's a dark blue bottle and cap. And moving on to the fragrance, After Hours has top notes of black currant and pear nectar, mid notes of midnight jasmine, vanilla creme, and lush freesia, and base notes of amber woods and caramelized patchouli. And this opens with the sharp black currant, and the fruit has a dark, syrupy quality to it. For the florals, I get more jasmine than freesia, which I do prefer as it usually feels softer, and the creme adds a creamy vanilla sweetness. Over time, the scent becomes warm and woody and ambery, and the patchouli starts to come in. I don't love it when patchouli is super strong or earthy, and I don't think that it is here. It is noticeable, but it seems to have a sweeter, almost sugary quality. To me, this is a vanillic floral mixed with dark, syrupy fruit and a woody, ambery feel. It's quite sweet, and I do get a sort of burnt, sugary vanilla quality, but it is more of a floral than a gourmand. As it dries, the vanilla overtakes the fruit a bit, and it gets sweeter and creamier, and at times it almost comes across as chocolatey. I think that this is a pretty scent, and it seems on par with some of the other Sol de Janeiro scents as far as strength. It lasted all evening for me, and I could still smell it the next day. It does feel a bit stronger than the 2023 Summer Editions, which I felt were a bit lighter than some of the scents in the core line. And for comparisons, first I have Tropical Nights from Sol de Janeiro, which has top notes of mandarin oil and night blooming jasmine, mid notes of vanilla absolute and patchouli, and base notes of creamy tonka bean and tobacco leaf absolute. And this is a deep, warm vanilla and tonka bean scent that has a soft floral and a little earthy greenness from the tobacco leaf. It was the sweetest scent in the 2022 summer collection and was also my favorite, as I love vanilla scents and that is the dominant note. These both have jasmine, vanilla, and patchouli and have a similar sweet, fruity floral quality but Tropical Nights has a brighter fruit note and a more creamy vanilla sweetness, while After Hours has the darker syrupy fruit. I do like them both, but Tropical Nights feels sweeter and creamier, so I do prefer it to After Hours. Next, I have Flower Bomb from Victor and Rolf, with top notes of orchid, freesia, and rose, mid notes of jasmine and osmanthus, and base notes of patchouli and vanilla. And I'm not really a fan of Flower Bomb, though I do like some of its flankers, so I only have a mini bottle. It's a sweet vanilla floral with patchouli and a touch of citrus, and I don't dislike it, but it's more floral than I'd prefer. These share the florals and vanilla combo, along with prominent patchouli, but Flower Bomb has a richer vanilla sweetness and a more heady floral, while After Hours is more syrupy and fruity. Then I also have Flower Bomb Nectar from Victor and Rolf, which has top notes of blackcurrant, bergamot, and gunpowder, mid notes of orange blossom and osmanthus, and base notes of tonka bean, vanilla, amber, and benzoin, and I believe it has patchouli as well. And I have a tutu on my bottle from the Victor and Rolf website, but this is the regular nectar scent, and it's a more intense, syrupy sweet version of Flower Bomb. The gunpowder note might sound a little weird, but it just adds a touch of a smoky feel. It's a syrupy vanilla floral with a dark, fruity quality. These both have blackcurrant, vanilla, amber, and patchouli, and I find After Hours to be more similar to Flower Bomb Nectar than the flagship scent. Flower Bomb Nectar is sweeter 
and has the smoky quality, while after hours, floral is a bit different and it's overall a lot softer. Next is Angel Elixir from Mugler with a top note of pink pepper, mid notes of orange blossom, ylang ylang, and jasmine, and base notes of vanilla, sandalwood, and amber extreme. And this is a powdery, woody floral with vanilla and a touch of amber. It's more similar to Alien with the heavy jasmine than it is to the OG Angel, but it does have a nice sweetness. These share the jasmine, vanilla, and amber, but Angel Elixir is more woody with a bit of spiciness, while After Hours is more syrupy sweet and fruity. And for body mist, first I have Bath & Body Works Into the Night, which has notes of raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, and mocha musk. And this is a very perfumey scent with a lot of raspberry and rose. It's musky and it has an earthy woodiness, as well as an ambery quality. These are both florals with dark fruit, amber, and patchouli. But Into the Night is noticeably rose heavy and doesn't have the vanillic sweetness of After Hours. And finally, I have Bath & Body Works Sensual Amber with notes of golden amber, wild berries, orange flower, lotus petals, and creamy sandalwood. And this is a very warm, woody, ambery scent with a nice amount of sweetness. The berries and florals are present, but they take a backseat to the creamy sandalwood and rich amber. These share the sweet florals mixed with amber and woods, but Sensual Amber is more floral with stronger amber while After Hours is sweeter and more vanillic. Overall, I do really like After Hours, and I'm happy to add it to my collection. It's a creamy vanillic floral with syrupy blackcurrant and touches of woods and amber, and I think it will be a nice scent for evening. If I had to rank it against the other Sol de Janeiro limited edition scents, I would say it would be in my top four, which also includes Tropical Nights from last year, as well as Do Not Disturb, and when in Rio from this year. The scents that I like but don't love are Tan Lines and Bikini Season, and the only one I don't really care for is Sea and Soul. I have enjoyed a lot of the limited edition scents that Sol de Janeiro has released, but I hope they'll continue to add to the permanent line as well. I was tempted to buy a backup of After Hours, but I just tested another scent that has a similar feel, so I might have enough between the two of them. So that's it for my review of After Hours from Sol de Janeiro. Let me know what you think of this scent and if you're going to give it a try. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.